the muskrat nymph. Start by mashing the barb on a U101 size 14 nymph hook. Then get the hook set firmly in the jaws of your vise. Now go to some lead free round wire, 15 to 1 thousandths. Start at a section just slightly above the halfway point towards the eye and wrap 8 wraps of that lead free round wire. Helicopter the end off and tuck down the back end. Now load a bobbin with 12 volt black vivas. Start your thread behind the eye button in front of the lead. Wrap back a little ways and then jump past the wire to kind of lock that into the location you want it. Now wrap through the wire and really heavily coat it down. And now you can build up small thread ramps on either side of the lead free wire. Now go to some flat jawed pliers. You need that flat jawed or else what you're mashing down will become bumpy. I like to smash it horizontal so kind of parallel with the hook shank. This gives it a wider uh, girth and makes it look like a mayfly crawler, but you can also do it vertical if you're going for a scud look. Now either go to some lemon barred wood duck or wood duck or wood duck dyed mallard flank. Strip all the crappy fuzzies off and then get about uh, 10 or 12 fibers on one side. Align the tips and pull them off free from the rest of the stem. And then you can go ahead and cut the curlies off at this point if they bother you. Now go ahead and measure a tail about one hook shake in length, or maybe a bit longer if you'd like. And tie it down directly past the wire, extending the tips extending past the bend of the hook. Your thread wraps should end above the barb where the barb would be above the hook. And then you can go ahead and cut the rest of the feathers off and build up a nice thread base. Now go to some genuine muskrat um, on the skin belly. And get a little pinch and then cut it right near the hide to make sure that you're not wasting anything. This will make about one and a half, maybe one fly. And kind of like mold it all around, you know, get those tan fibers and gray fibers. Now kind of spread that dubbing out into a tapered dubbing loop, tapering smaller towards the hook. It should be about 5 inches in length. You may need to add some more as we go on, but it's better to start with a little less. Now position your dubbing so it's right up against your hook, and start making touching wraps up towards the eye, again making sure that it tapers towards it. And again you might need to add some more, especially when you get past that wire and you kind of need to build up that little bump in order to get it down towards the eye. And once you reach the eye, go ahead and make a nice little thread head. After a couple wraps, go ahead and whip finish your fly. Now you go ahead and cut your thread off. Now you can leave your fly the way it is right here, but I like to take like a dubbing brush or a dubbing prick or any piece of velcro and I like to uh, brush it out. Now the amount of brushing you want, you can cut it on either side to make it look sow bug, push it all back for just a nymph or even a leech if you tie it on bigger sizes. And that's it once you get the dubbing the way you want it, there you go, that's the fly.